Hey, what's up, boxing fans? It's Rodney De La Paz. Have to tell you, I'm pretty fired up. I've been watching a lot of YouTube commentaries on Miguel Cotto versus uh, Manny Pacquiao. Have to say, very, very interesting fight. Um, a lot of the commentary, though, is based on who beat who better. Um, I personally don't believe in that approach in trying to predict fights, so I like to get under the covers um, by taking a more you know technical approach to uh, to what each fighter really presents in the ring. Um, my last video is about uh, about Floyd Mayweather, um, how he disposes of all of his fights. So what I'm going to do in this video is talk about Miguel Cotto and Manny Pacquiao and see what you think. So let's start with Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto, very, very strong fighter. He's a natural lefty, but, you know, he fights southpaw to him, which is, you know, conventional, but that means he's got his firepower in the front, all right? Um, that's why everyone says and praises his left hooks and his left jabs, but guess what? He's a lefty. That's probably why he can punish you with his left hand, because that's a stronger hand, all right? Um, he's a finesse fighter. Which means he's very very grounded this is the kind of you know he, he got a pretty really you know good cover-up on his face you know he always has his hands up and he's all about footwork so you see this kind of movement you know okay doesn't really bounce around too much you just see him like really good footwork good side steps you know that's how he gets in and he's got a world-class jab a lot of people you know talk about speed in boxing speed is actually very very subjective okay there's physical speed but then there's also timing speed all right zab judah lightning physical speed um shane mosley lightning speed miguel cotto not really regarded as as fast as Zab Judah and, and, and Sugar Shane Mosley, but as you can tell in his fight against Sugar Shane Mosley, what did what did Cotto do? He out jabbed Sugar Shane Mosley, and that's how he won. Sugar Shane Mosley, I think honestly, he's lightning fast. He can go in and hit you with four jabs and come out. I mean that's how quick he is. But how did he lose against Cotto? Because Cotto had better timing he was faster in timing he timed his jabs perfectly to to pretty much ruin you know the speed of of sugar shane mosley he was able to you know step in and out and move to the side and then time his you know his jabs and he actually disrupted sugar shane's pace now that's his biggest asset, I think, okay? Obviously, you know, his jabs, okay? His jabs open up to his hooks, to the body, to, to, to the face. And again, the reason why his left hand is so effective is because he's a natural lefty. He hits you with the body, he's hitting you with his strongest hand, all right? So that's something to talk about. Um, Right, I mean, there's, that's something to think about. So, Manny Pacquiao, let's talk about him. He's a lefty, but he stands at the, you know, at the conventional, traditional southpaw. So he's got his right hand in the front. All right, Manny Pacquiao, let's talk about his speed, okay? Again, not the fastest physical speed, but his timing is very, very fast. And, and that's that's has a lot to do with the fact that he's he's using his whole body as you you know he's not like Miguel Cotto where Miguel Cotto uses just his footwork to get in and out and you know and move his head whereas uh, Manny Pacquiao he moves a lot he has like you know if you watched any of those Bruce Lee movies he's got the in and out okay he moves in and out and he's got the head moving like this Okay, and he could he could throw a jab from any direction. 
he'll come in here, he'll throw from, from, from those angles over here, and then suddenly he'll pop you with a right, straight right. So you have no clue where Manny Pacquiao's, you know, going to hit you. You just see this guy kind of bobbing up and down. And I don't know if you can tell any, any similarities between Manny Pacquiao and, um, and Mike Tyson. The way, again, Mike Tyson came in, he had a lot of that side-to-side -side movement. All right, so I don't know if you've noticed any of those similarities, but Manny Pacquiao, he's got that momentum that's, that's allowing him to come in and use his speed. But that's another key part of it. As he's bouncing around forward and front like this, he's actually using his whole body to propel himself forward and then he'll light you up with his, his jabs or his hooks. So he's using his entire body to hit his opponents. That's why he's got knockout power because he's not just hitting you with his arm. He's hitting you with his entire body. He's moving in his entire 140 pound or whatever he is at that night. He's hitting you with 140 pounds to your face, to the body. And that's really the biggest difference between him and a lot of his fighters because he knows how to use his entire body to hit you. So who's going to win? Oh man, I'm all like out of breath, but um, who's going to win between Cotto and Manny Pacquiao? To be quite honest with you, based on what I've seen and based on the technical standpoint, I think it's going to be Manny Pacquiao just because he can bounce around for 30 rounds and also he's going to be able to to connect at will against uh, against uh, Cotto. Okay? Cotto again, I praise his his fundamentals. He's got that great jab, but I don't think that jab is going to be so effective against a fighter who's going to be moving in and out like this. And, and I know, based on what everyone's seen, Manny Pacquiao initiates the attack in most of his fights. So if Cotto wins, it's going to honestly be between the first five rounds. Because again, like any other professional boxer out there, the, the, you know, Cotto has a puncher's chance to catch Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has been rocked before, but if he gets caught early... It's going to be a really, really tough fight for Manny Pacquiao. But as the fight goes on, and if Manny Pacquiao establishes his, his pace, and he establishes the, the momentum of the fight, Manny Pacquiao is going to win easily because of his timing speed, because he could throw every jab from any angle, and he's very strong and he only gets stronger as the rounds progress. So, November 14th, Manny Pacquiao winning probably between the 8th and 12th round. Knockout. We'll see ya.